Jews are born into a social caste system which determines one of three roles in the hive. Drones, workers, and queens. The queen bee is fed a special food called royal jelly, which triggers a different set of genes to act. You remind me so much of your mother. Both of you and those damn bees. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 horror film Royal Jelly, a film that is written and directed by Sean Riley, and it stars um, Elizabeth McCoy. We also have Sherry Lazzani, Jesse Hartzog, and Fiona McQuinn. Now, this film focuses on a high school outcast, basically. She um, is um, ignored by pretty much everybody, humiliated by everybody, picked on, bullied by everybody. She's a little bit different, but she's she's obsessed with bees and her beehive. Um, it's her only real interest in life. Her uh, home life is difficult. She has a stepmother and a stepsister who treat her like dirt. Um, and she ends up befriending this substitute teacher who turns up at the school, uh, pushes back against the bullies and makes her feel valuable and useful. Uh, summer takes place and she basically ends up living with this teacher um, who also has a deep obsession with bees and beehives. So she's happy to stay and help her with this. Uh, but it soon becomes clear that things aren't as they seem uh, and lies and deception start rising to, uh, to the surface and more sinister acts start taking place. Right, what are my thoughts on Royal Jelly? Um, this one, uh, obviously, it's, it's a low-budget film, okay, and that is very evident when you watch it. Um, the sound design is a little bit dodgy, a little bit tinny with us when they're talking now and again, some of the actors... Um, the performances here are actually quite good for a low-budget film, um, other than some of the smaller roles, which you can forgive. All the main performers here do a decent job um, in regards to their acting, so I didn't have an issue with the performances. And the premise and the concept here is quite interesting. It's, 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 it's trying to, if you like, um, be a little bit of a body horror, I suppose, at times. It just, for me... Um, there's too much wrong with this film for me to really engage with it and to really buy into it and to have any huge amount of enjoyment from it, unfortunately. There's just too much wrong that you just can't forgive to, from minor things to major things. And some of the minor things include, like, there's a scene where she has to clean up after her sister and she's scrubbing the bed sheets like she's from the 1800s. You just put them in the washer. Um, there's some really bad fake laughter in it. Um, some bullies from school decide they're going to destroy her behinds and they turn up in like the worst disguises ever um ridiculous um and it just all it, it kind of feels like that what it sets up at the beginning of the film in regards to her family life and i know it's difficult it certainly presents it as being difficult but she seems to have a good relationship with her father um and then it transports her to this substitutes teacher's house and don't get me started on the substitute teacher she just turns up at the school for a session treats everybody like crap and then that's it she never goes back to the school um it, it very odd choice to introduce this character into her life really as a substitute teacher it just didn't work at all um and her friend her, her developing friendship with this so-called substitute teacher felt forced and and just didn't work um, so you've got this whole storyline at the beginning with this family, the dynamic and things like that, and it just throws that away in favour of the second storyline where she's at this substitute teacher's house and her substitute teacher's got a, you know, a good-looking son that she's attracted to and then weird things start happening and it's all connected to the bees. And it just, it just felt the storyline just kind of it took a real swerve about you know, 25 minutes in. Uh, and it didn't resolve anything that we saw before in regards to her family dynamics and the school bullies or anything like that. It was just a little bit odd. And I just, I felt disconnected from the film because of it. Why didn't she, for example? I just couldn't get it out of my head. While all the time she was at this woman's house, why didn't she try and contact her father? I mean, it basically was becoming a kidnapping, you know? Um, 
why didn't she ring her father and say, I'm fine, Dad, I'm staying with a friend. Even if even if she just said, no, I'm not going to tell you I am, Dad, I'm happy, I'm safe, I'll be back soon. That would have addressed it in some way, but no. They just completely ignored the fact that she had a family and, you know, uh, people wouldn't be looking for it. Of course she would. Of course they would. She's underage. Why would people not be looking for her and stuff like that? It gets really confused as well, the story. Uh, about three quarters through, you start scratching your head thinking... What is the connection to these bees? It seems really forced. Didn't seem to work for me. Um, and then the end, by the end, the, the ending of the film just felt really ridiculous to me. Just didn't work. Um, it, it, it did some light body horror elements. Um, and you see these fangs at the end, fake fangs that some of the actors are wearing that are just like, well, are they vampires or bees? I don't get it. And then some of the effects again at the end were just a bit laughable for me it just didn't work it kind of fell off the cliff the film about halfway through and just before uh, so unfortunately i'm going to give this one a four out of ten it didn't really work for me thank you very much for watching i hope you like the review i'll be back with plenty more content on the channel very very soon